All right, so as you all know, we've been selling tools for a while now, and for marketing purposes, corporate feels that we should, you know, name some of these things. That makes sense. Yeah, well, so Larry, you had this thing assigned to you. What do you think we should call this? I thought we could name that a wrench, which means a violent twist or pull. That works for me. I like that a lot. Daniel, you had this thing. What do we, what do you want to, what, what are we calling that? Drill. A drill. Okay, I like that a lot. We're on a roll. Now, David, you had this thing with the flat face and the things coming out the back. What do you got for me? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I definitely, I did come up with the name because that's what you, you asked me to do that. Good. Yeah. What is it? What is the, yeah, no, that's a great question. The, que the answer, the name is the, um, ha hammer. A hammer? A hammer. Yeah. I think we could all agree that that's a good name. What kind of sandwich is that, David? Oh, this sandwich, yeah, this is probably chicken. It smells a lot like ham, David. Oh yeah, no, it's, cr well, you know, it's crazy how some sandwiches smell these days. Okay, I'm writing it down, but we're gonna have a talk later, okay? Now, Alex, you had this sharp thing on a stick. Alex. What? Alex. Are you saying Axe, or are you saying your own name in a weird way? Alex. Okay, I'm gonna write Axe. I feel like corporate will go for that. Now, Steve, you had this thing right here. What do you think we should call this? Screwdriver. Screwdriver? Okay, yeah, that's definitely catchy. Yeah, it came to me after I caught my chauffeur with my whore of a wife. Oh my god. If you need an alternate, we could also go with Bang Mailman. She thought that was good too, apparently. What are you drinking? I put some vodka and some orange juice. I don't even care anymore. Is that a thing? And you know what? I'm calling it a screwdriver too. Does that make you happy? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, he's in a bad headspace. We should probably move on. Rufus, you had this thing. Thing. What do you got for me back there, buddy? Crowbar. Okay, don't really want to get on your bad side, so that works for me. What did you come up with? Me? Yeah, you were assigned this big electric thing that goes like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I, uh, um, um... A uh, hammer. No, hammer's already taken, Jack. You need your own name. Oh, my own name? Okay, well, Jack Hammer. That's not what it... You know what? Fine. Well, hey, if he's getting his name on a tool, I want my name on a tool. What was your tool again? I had this little freaking... This bendy thing. Do you mind if he piggybacks off yours? That's fine. Okay, so Alan Wrench. Now, who had this thing? That was me. Did you come up with a name? I did. I thought we could call that a saw. Okay, well, see, that might be confusing, because that's a conjugation of a super common verb that people use every day. I think it'll be fine. This will also be a verb, too, by the way. It'll mean to use this tool. Well, okay, but what if someone sees the tool and then later wants to tell somebody about having done that. Well, then they'll have seen a saw. That's not a problem. Yes, but also they saw a saw. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and if they saw it in action, they saw a saw saw. Well, what's the big deal if someone saw a saw sign? You also have to consider if someone saws through a jar of salsa. Why would someone saw salsa? Well, I don't know, but that would mean that they saw a saw saw salsa. Well, I think it's a great name, even if someone saw a saw saw salsa. You know what? I'm gonna buy some salsa and saw salsa just to say I saw a saw saw salsa. Okay, you know what? We really gotta get this over to corporate, so let's just, you know, that's a saw. That's fine. Now let's just wrap things up, okay? Alex. Yeah, that's not helpful, Alex. Okay, final thing on the agenda for the day, Kevin is out sick. Did anyone come up with a name for his tool? What was his tool again? It was this weird gardening thing here. Uh ho! Okay, Steve, I think maybe you should go home, but also, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, so as you all know, corporate now feels that the terms fruits and berries are a little too vague for our products, and we're gonna need some more specific names for marketing purposes. Sure, sure. Yeah, so Lucas, you had these things right here. What should we call these things? Yeah, I was thinking we could call those grapes. Grapes, yeah, that sounds great to me. Okay, now who had this here? That was me, I was thinking strawberry. Strawberry, kind of random, but has a nice ring to it. Now, what about this? Oh yeah, that was me, um... I'm also gonna go with grapes. I like the sound of that. What? Yeah, these also grow in bunches, so they feel like pretty much the same thing. They're not. No, yeah, I think it does need its own name. Oh, okay, uh, so then, uh, grape... Not grape! Get your own thing! Grapefruit? I'd be good with that. No! Yeah, okay, that's different enough. It's not different enough. He's piggybacking off of my brand because his thing tastes so weird. Grape buddies. Ah! Okay, let's move on here. Whose department is this? That's me. I was thinking apple. Apple, yeah, great. Fun to say. I got a bunch of other names for all the subtypes you guys want to hear. Them. Oh, no, that's fine. Maybe another time. Granny Smith. What? Macintosh. Gala. Those just seem like random words. Golden Delicious. Red Delicious. What? You can't call it delicious. You're putting words in people's mouths. Yeah, that'd be like if I called strawberry red. Yum, yum. Very good. Okay, look, guys, we have a lot of these to get through, okay? Now, who had this? I thought we would call that a tomato. Tomato. Yeah, that's perfect. No, I said tomato. Yeah, tomato. We're saying the same thing. We're not. Yeah, we're both saying tomato. Okay, now, who had this? Pine. We call it pine. That's a good name. That's a strong name. Beautiful name. It's already a tree. Tree, I think, isn't it? Okay, so pine fruit, maybe maybe pine grape? No. Pine apple? I don't know, just play something with pine, please. Okay, geez, I'm gonna let pineapple slide, okay? But we can't just be naming stuff after actors we like, okay? Now who had this? Banna. Excuse me? Banna. What did I just say? We're not naming these all after actors we like. Eric Banna. I wasn't? You didn't let me finish? I was gonna say Banna. Nah. Banana. Nah. Banana. Nah. I don't even know who Eric Bana is. Sounds like a fantastic Australian actor, though. You're wearing a t-shirt with his face on it. 
Okay, excuse me, what's with the actor t-shirts anyway? I mean, does everyone in this universe have the same face or not? Hey, shut up. Okay, so what about this blue berry? I got this one. Blue... Barry. Okay, come on, you didn't put any effort into that at all. Uh... That's, okay, we gotta step up our game here a bit, okay, guys? Let's circle back to the blueberry thing. Now, what about this? Raspberries! I'm sorry, raspberry? Raspberries! Did you just get one stuck in your throat and that's why you're saying that? Because <clears throat> that seems pretty specific to this situation. I don't think everybody's gonna get a raspy voice every time they eat one. <clears throat> okay, now what about this? What do we got for this? How about, uh, a date? I mean, I'm flattered, but we should talk about that later. No, I mean, that's what we could call it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's great. Okay. <clears throat> what about this round thing? Yeah, I came up with orange. Orange? Yeah, orange. Rhymes with... Whatever. It's a good name. Yeah, no, it is a good name. Hey, what color is this? I don't know. I don't know. It feels like a red-yellow mix. Yeah, there's no name for this, is there? Grapefruit had a similar thing going on. I'm gonna get the color naming department on the line. This seems like an oversight. Color naming department? Yeah, hi, we have a fruit over here that's like a red-yellow mix. We don't think there's a name for it yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, what are you naming the fruit? What are we, uh, orange is what we're calling it. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Let's call it orange. Well, that's 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 the name of the fruit, though. Yes, yeah, so? it's just, Maybe those should be different things, don't you think? <laughs> Dude, how much thought are you putting into naming things? I... Not that much. We just named a color cyan, okay? Nobody gives a crap. Okay, uh... Okay. So just slap a name on these things and move on. You're wasting everybody's time, you freaking loser. I... All right. Blueberry is fine. Yes! All right, everybody, listen up, okay? What is going on? We here at the place where words for things are decided really drop the ball here, okay? And if there's one thing I won't stand for, it's dropped balls. What is the problem, exactly? Animal sounds. We don't have any words for animal sounds. Why would why would we need words for those? Those are sounds that animals make. There are little kids walking around out there right now, and they don't have a word for the sound a duck makes. Is he cry- are you crying? This feels like it's not a huge issue. If my son walks up to a cow right now and the cow goes or whatever my son's not gonna know what the hell the cow is talking about i feel like maybe it's okay for kids to learn what sounds animals make when they hear the animals make the sounds no nope. you know what that's not good enough we're gonna need to figure out some human words to describe the sounds that animals make okay 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 and this needs to be one of the first things kids learn i decided why though because cow encounters are confusing did you not hear what i just said all right so i guess a cow would go Mmm. well no okay it doesn't have to be the exact noise they make that'd be crazy what are we doing here? Uh, I guess what about moo? Moo, M-O-O, -O, that works for me. But that's not, I mean, that's not really even the noise, though. It's close enough. Now, what about a cat? Maybe like a meow? Cats make all kinds of different noises. I'm just looking for ballparks so small children aren't caught off guard, okay? I'm writing down meow. Meow. Exactly. Meow. No, that sounds inappropriate if you say it that way for some reason. Sorry. Okay, this is good. What about a dog? What do we got for a dog? Uh, I guess... How would you spell that? I don't know. No, guys, we're translating these sounds to human sounds, okay? We need letters here. What about woof? W-O-O-F. Woof? Yeah, that sounds like a word. Now we're talking. Mm, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should go with more like a bow wow for a dog. What? Bow wow? What the hell? What are you talking about? You know how when you're looking at a dog and the dog's looking back at you and the dog is like bow? Wow. I've never heard a dog say anything remotely resembling bow wow. Look, I'm just gonna write both down, it's fine. If my dog made the noise bow wow, I would br I'd bring it to the vet. Mm, yeah, okay, that is a fair point. This is pen though, so I can't I can't erase it. Okay. What about a frog? Ribbit. I love that. Ribbit. That's there was a frog in my backyard last night and it just screamed. That's all that was the noise. Well, I'm gonna write ribbit. That's a good general frog sound to teach to children forever. Why? Chicken, any thoughts? How about cluck? Yeah, I feel like chickens go cluck. They don't, not really. Yeah, I agree. Isn't a cluck doesn't doesn't that tell time? No, with a U. Oh, okay. Th that isn't any better. Hey, what does the fox say? We're not doing that one. Hey, what about a duck? Those go like... <laughs> they sound like they're on crack. Quack? That's good. No, I said crack. Well, I already wrote quack. You need to pronounce your R's better, buddy. All right. Hey, what about a pig? They make those noises like... Mm, you know what that sounded like? 
That sounded like oink. O-I-N-K, that did sound like oink. None of these sound like the actual animal noises. I feel like somebody's mad because somebody didn't think of one yet. That's not it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna check the manual. I feel like we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, what about a rooster? Oh! Actually, okay, I'm sorry. That's actually my bad. Really? It's at, we're good. It's actually onomatopoeia. I don't know what he's talking about, but I feel like I should call HR. No, 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 it's a thing, it's fine. Look, I'll do one for Rooster, okay? Cock a doodle do. Okay, I'm definitely calling HR now. Yeah, call HR. Okay. <laughs> So listen, we've been tasked with finding a name for these little tech thingies, okay? These little pieces of computer hardware that plug into ports. What do we got? The put it the put it in a port? That's not catchy enough. The clickety click it in device. No, not clickety click it in device. Something that'll really stick in people's minds, you know? Hmm. What about dongle? Dongle. Why does that why does that already feel like an existing word? Oh, you know why? Because it kind of sounds like... Like what? Like, you know... Dangle. Oh, yeah, that must be it. Well, they do dangle sometimes, right? So nothing wrong with that. As long as there's nothing else we're missing... I don't think we're missing anything. You know, dongle feels good to me. Dongle is fun, isn't it? Dongle sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'm a big fan of dongle. What does a dongle do exactly? Well, first and foremost, a dongle goes in a port. Right, so people could kind of insert their dongle into whatever port the dongle fits into. They'll know pretty quickly if a dongle's not made for the port they're trying to slide it into. Do dongles come in different sizes? Dongles come in all different sizes, yeah. And that's fine, that's perfectly normal. The picture on the projector, that's actually my dongle. You took a picture of your dongle? I took a picture of my dongle. It looks bigger in the picture, if I'm being honest, than it actually is. It looks nice. Yeah, I think your dongle looks great. It's a great looking dongle. I feel like the angle makes my dongle look weird. Maybe if I held my dongle in my hand when I took the picture, that would help. Listen, the tip of your dongle looks a little weird, but the rest of your dongle looks good. Weird or not, I would grab your dongle. You know, from a store shelf. Wait, so are we settled on dongle then? I'd love to settle on dongle if everyone's okay with that. We can talk about it more, but dongle would satisfy me. I love dongle. Dongle rolls off the tongue. Dongle feels good. People are gonna want to get their hands on a dongle. All right, let's send a press release out, let the world know. Already done. That was just your hand. No, it wasn't. All right, well, fantastic work, guys. We did a good thing here today, I think. <laughs> Oh wait, dongle sounds like a penis. Oh no. Okay, boss is up on the screen. Let's quiet down everybody. Hi there team, sorry I can't be there in person today, but corporate wants these vegetable names stat. We're excited to get started, sir. What? We're excited to start. I I'm doing fine, thank you. Listen, I got kind of a rough internet connection here. I'm only getting every couple of words. I'm sure it'll be okay, sir. Okay, enough with the chit chat. I'd love to get started here. Uh, what are we thinking for this thing that's up on the screen there? Well, I mean, it kind of looks like a flower. It does look like a flower. That's a good point. Yeah, okay, but I mean, we can't just call it flower. Cauliflower? Yeah, that works for me. Oh, wait, no. That wasn't... All right, we gotta get through a lot of these. Let's just keep it rolling, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's. Lettuce. Yeah, okay, I'm sure I'm good with that. That wasn't... No, that wasn't anything. Sir, these are not our ideas so far. Yeah, I'm still doing fine. Thank you. What are you guys thinking for this thing here on the screen? Okay, now that... We actually assigned that to one of the freelance guys, didn't we? Was it, was, was it Lee? I thought it was Kevin. No, it wasn't Kevin. It might have been Lee. Lee or maybe that new guy Brock. I'm sorry guys, I can't. What are, what are you saying? We're trying to figure out who had it was Brock or Lee. Broccoli. Okay, yeah, sure. No, wait, that's not a good name. This freaking guy's writing anything down. We're on a roll here. Let's keep it going. What about this thing? Oh, I actually have a great idea for that. And I've got one too. And I've got it. Wrote it down. We're good. Nope. No. All right, we got a purple thing here. You know what that looks like? That looks like an egg. What are you talking about? What is that? that doesn't look like an egg. That looks like an egg. You know what it does look like? Okay, I feel like you're insinuating penis. And if that's the case, you know, please see a doctor. It looks like an egg. It doesn't. It's like an egg plant. Yeah, egg plant sounds fantastic, sure. Oh, that one he hears. This freaking guy's writing anything down. You already said that. Well, no one reacted. How was I supposed to know? Green ball thing. We got a green ball thing here. That stuff smells like trash. Like what? Trash. Like cabbage. Cabbage, sure, why not? Damn it. What? It's just, sir, you're snatching up random bits of the conversation. It's not leaving much room for creativity. Okay. 
Okay, I think I heard mushroom, and I'm that's the uh, whatever, you know. Oh. F hey, did I just hear cursing over there? <sighs> no, sir. I'm just hoping to get some good ideas in here. Okay, hot shot. Maybe you got something for this thing right here. Yes. Yeah, I would love to. Just, just, just give me a minute to think. I'm waiting. Disculpe, tengo una idea. Gustavo, wait a second, okay? Uh, ¿Qué? Tengo una idea. Gustavo, wait. Okay. No entiendo, pero... Wait, Gustavo. ¿Qué? Espera, Gus. Got it. Wait, got what? All right, gentlemen, we've been tasked with coming up with names for all the bugs out there. There's a lot. It's getting confusing. Okay. All right. I'm in. Yeah, it's your job, so you don't have to say that every time. Now, what are we thinking for this one here? I'm thinking maybe wasp. Wasp. Okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, what about this one? Maybe we can call that a fly, because it flies. Uh, okay, it's just so many of the other ones also fly. Yeah, but this one especially. That doesn't make sense, but I'll allow it. We're gonna have to be a lot more creative, though, guys, okay? Now, what about this stick insect here? Maybe we could call that a stick insect. What did I just say? Oh, something, I imagine. That's right. Now, I'm gonna let that one slide too, but we gotta think out of the box moving forward. Now what about this one? Uh, we should call that one an earwig. Why? Because those ones wiggle into your ears at night when you're sleeping. Oh my god, is that true? It might be. All right, moving on. This one here, what do we got? Uh, what? Ooh, I know what we're all thinking, fellas, so I'm just gonna say it. She is lovely. These aren't all necessarily female. She is blowing me away right now. Oh, uh. I'd say this one's obvious, boys. That is a ladybug. I'm just gonna write that down because I don't want to interact with this guy more than I need to. Now what about this one? Oh god. That's got like a hundred feet. I don't like looking at that one. Just call it something that means a hundred feet and get it off the screen. Does it have exactly a hundred feet though? I'm not looking at it long enough to count. Get it away. All right, fine. Moving on. Oh, that one's even worse. Oh, that one's got like a thousand feet. Does it though? There's no need for accuracy. Get that off the screen, please. Is there one on me right now? Because just looking at that makes me feel like there is. Okay, everybody seems really uncomfortable with those. We're gonna move on to this. I think we should call that one a nap. Nap? Sure. I see nothing wrong with that name. Now what about this one? Those ones crawl into your mouth while you're sleeping. Is that true? It might be. This guy seems to think that bugs just constantly crawl into people's orifices at night. You can't prove that they don't. I think we should call that one a gnat. That's, you just said that. Yeah, I know. I just left to name a bunch of these after my ex-wife Natalie, you know, just a spider. Oh, God. okay. I'm just gonna take the last part of what you said and ignore the awful rest of it. All right. Actually, while we're at it, I'd love to get some names for some specific spiders, if you don't mind. Oh, here's an idea. What about a black widow? All right. I mean, that's kind of tragic and racially specific, but okay. And this one? Oh. Oh, God, not this guy. Look at those long legs. My goodness. Ugh. Oh, getting some real daddy energy from this one. I don't like the vibe that this guy brings to these meetings. I'm just gonna write daddy long legs so this moment's over quickly. Mm. How about this one? Oh, well, that's an easy one, right? That's obvious. We call it a butterfly. Butterfly. Interesting. Why butter? Well, I mean, they're almost identical, right? In taste. Oh. Are you, have you been going around eating bugs? Right. Okay. Okay, like we don't all catch bugs out of the air with our tongues. We don't. Not on purpose. Like we don't all partake in air snacks. You're confidently saying air snack like it's a thing, but I promise you it's not. Wait. Wait, seriously? Seriously, dude. Oh my god. Is this why Nat left? Yeah, sure sounds that way. What would a good name for this one be? B? Yeah, that's what I said. No, yeah, I know. Okay, so what's a good name? B. B what? I'm suggesting the name B. What are you suggesting it be? B. What do you, I don't, what? I'm suggesting it be B. B-E-E. -E. Now you're just saying gibberish. B-E-E. -E. Okay, all right, we'll call it that. All right, so that one is an E-E. -E. Now, well, just a suggestion, maybe we call that B? Oh, I like that. That's better. Oh, that's all right. I quit. That's fine. I didn't love that guy's work anyway. What about this one? I was thinking roach. Mm, yeah, I guess. Something wrong? I just feel like it's missing a little something to make it catchy or something punchy at the beginning, you know? I have an idea. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, people, we here at the place where words for things are decided have been tasked with coming up with names for all the sports. Stat. Got it. Okay, now, Scott, you had this sport assigned to you. What do you got for me, buddy? I was thinking basketball. Basketball. Yeah, I mean, you got a ball, you got a basket type thing. That sounds great to me. Okay, now, Aaron, you had this thing here. What do you got for me, buddy? I was thinking football. Football. Okay, I mean, that's a little more general. A lot of these sports involve feet, but... Uh, okay. Wiki. 
weird or whatever it is British people say. And so what about this sport right here? That was yours, Felix, if I'm not mistaken. I was thinking handball. That's okay. That's another body part followed by the word ball. That's that's all right. I just think we're going to run out of relevant body parts pretty quickly. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got a ton of body parts. We're talking head, shoulders, knees, and... The list goes on. Right, but people aren't going to be lining up to watch shoulder ball, I don't think. Anyway, what about this sport here? What do we got? I think we should call it football. See, no, that's what I said would happen. We already have a football. Yeah, let's have another one. No, that's not... Maybe we just call it that in America. I mean, this guy's from across the pond. That's an ocean. I don't know that that's a good solution. I mean, people might play the other football in America, and then what? Well, we just need another name for that sport in America, that's all. That's super confusing, guys. No, it's not, and I could come up with another name in a second. I'm extremely creative. Okay. Yeah, I'm like a creative genius type person. Check this out. Sock. Girl. You just you just looked at your sock and said that. No, I didn't. Okay, you know what? We're really on a time crunch here, guys. So, okay, so it's football, but if you're somewhere else geographically, it's soccer, and then that's football, but only if you're in America. If you're outside of America, it's American football. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, now what about this sport? What are we thinking? I was thinking we could call that cricket. Cricket? Cricket. I mean, aren't you from the insect naming department? Yeah, I, yeah. This is sports. No, yeah, I know. I just transferred over because that whole environment just bugged me. No pun intended. Right, all right, but you can't just recycle your old ideas from over there. Right, yeah, no, obviously I get that, but... What if we did, though? Yeah, okay, that's a fair argument. Let's mix it up a bit, though, okay? So that's cricket. What are we thinking for this? Maybe we call that croquet. To be honest, that kind of just sounds like cricket, but pronounced with a fancy accent. But it is slightly different, so I don't think I could get mad at you. Wiki! Next up, we have this sport over here. Dennis, you've been pretty quiet over there. I'd love to hear from you, buddy. Dennis. Was that... That just sounded like your own name. Dennis! I think he's saying tennis, actually. He's definitely just saying his own name. But I'm gonna write tennis, because we can't name a sport Dennis, okay? We just can't. We're all gonna lose our jobs. Dennis! <laughs> Ow! Oh! You okay, Dennis? <sighs> uh, Dennis elbow. Okay, he's got Dennis elbow, I guess. Okay, what about this sport here? Uh... Nobody? Jim bro, you got anything? Hold on. <sighs> Curling. Yeah, that works for me. What? That's good. That sounds good. I... Okay. Next up, we got this sport right here, which I think was assigned to Jerry, who's out sick today. So, idea guy, you got something for me, buddy? Oh, yeah, no problem. I got a brain that moves faster than a quick thing. Okay, here we go. Rug. That's, I saw you look at the rug. You can't just take the name of another thing. I wasn't finished. You let me finish. Rug. Wasp. Rug wasp. Rug wasp. Yep. Does that have anything to do with the wasp flying around the room? No, I didn't even see- I don't know what you're talking about. That's actually not a wasp, that's a bee. Okay, unrelated to what he just said, I'd like to change my suggestion. Oh my god, okay, rug bee it is. I'm very good at this. Now what about this sport, Zachary? I think that was assigned to you, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was thinking we could call that puck ball. No, you don't have balls. What? In your sport. Oh, yeah, no. So pick- you know, anything else. Anything? Anything, man. Let's just wrap this up. Can I name it after one of my favorite birds? I freaking love birds. Just change it up a little so we don't just steal the name of a bird. Okay, no problem. So we'll call it Pigeony. Oh, no, that's not gonna work, actually. Bald Eagly. No. Penguiny. Not good. Stork. Storky. Bad. Hockey. Eh. Yellow headed black birdie. Oh my god, no. Uh, booby. E. Booby? I've never heard that word, but is that a type of bird? It is, actually, yeah. Google it. Nobody Google that. <gasps> Blimey. Dennis. Okay, hockey. We're going with hockey. Everyone put your phones away. Okay, I don't understand how these get airborne. Okay, people, our company's got a big problem, all right? Nobody's buying our animal flesh products. Now that you mention it, calling it flesh doesn't sound super appetizing. Yeah, so we're gonna have to rebrand a little bit. Think of some new names for these things. Let's do it. Great, so for example, cow flesh. What's a better name for cow flesh? Cow dead body part. Not different enough. Cow corpse bits. Still no. Maybe we get a little exotic with it. What do you mean? Well, French guy, how would you say cow in French? Oh, eh bien, ça serait une vache. A vag? We can't 
can't call it that, I think. Oh, I'm okay with that. Okay, not now, weird pervert guy. French guy, is there another word, maybe? A boeuf? 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 I'm just gonna write beef. That sounds good to me. Okay. Now, what about pig flesh? Pig corpse bits. Okay, stop suggesting corpse bits. That's not a move in the right direction. I like corpse bits. French guy, what's up? How do you say pig? A cochon. Cooch? Cooch? Cochon. Coochie? We can't. What is with your language? Ça peut être un par aussi. Por por I'm gonna write pork. Maybe when it's thigh flesh, we call it ham, though. Oh, ham. I like that. That's good. Yeah, I like that a lot, too. In fact, hey, when you make a sandwich with some ground up beef, maybe we call that a hamburger. What? But no, there's no ham in that. Correct. So call it a beef burger. No. Okay. Actually, while we're on the topic, what about this fancy tenderloin bit? I feel like that should have its own name. Oh. Oh, God. That is a beautiful piece. He just makes me so uncomfortable. Hey, French guy, how do you say small and pretty? Eh, mignon? There we go, gentlemen. I say there's no question here. That is a filet mignon. I'm just gonna write that so he stops talking. How many departments does this guy work in? Okay, moving on. What about this thing right here? What do we got for that? Maybe we call that baloney. Baloney, I like that. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. What was that? What's up? That's not, what did you write? Baloney. Why did you spell it bologna? I didn't. Baloney. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. That's bologna. No, it's not. Okay, next up we have chicken, which I think we can all agree should remain unchanged. Yeah, obviously. What? Why? Moving on, we got this stuff here that's like dried cured animal flesh. Dried corpse bits. Okay, please stop. The ideas you're suggesting are not good. <laughs> Jerk? What was that? Nothing. Did you call me a jerk? I didn't. No, I said maybe we call that uh, jerky. I like that. That's really good. Oh, thank God. Now, what about this thing here that's like just a mix of a bunch of animal parts? Oh, it kind of looks like one of those short doggies with the long bodies. Oh, I agree. Oh, God. What's he going to suggest? <laughs> All right, gang, we're on a roll, but we still have a lot of body parts to figure out names for here. Got it. Can I actually go home early? My something hurts. Unfortunately not, since I don't yet know which part of your body you're referencing. All right, so we named this the leg, but what about the bendy part of it? I thought we could call that a knee. Oh, a knee. I like that. N-E-E. -E. Okay, N-E-E. -E. Oh, I thought you said knee. You're suggesting knee? No, knee. I said knee. But you want a K in there. The K is silent. You don't say the K. Then why put it? To mess with people that are learning the language for the first time. <laughs> that is pretty funny. All right, what about this? It's like the pit of the arm. How about armpit? Oh, that is good. That is some good stuff. Well, that wasn't very original. What about this part that's like the back of the human body? How about back? This guy's freaking good. This guy's amazing. That's, he didn't do anything. I'm very, very good at this. Now, what about this part of the body? How about hip? Hip? Hip sounds cool. Hip sounds very cool. I... Okay. What about these things that we use to hear? Ear. That's what I said. No, we name it ear. Yep, this is where we're gonna be naming it. Right here, right now. Ear is the name I'm suggesting. I'm ready. Lay it on me. E-A-R. Ear. E-A-R ear? No. E-A-R ear. I gotta say, that doesn't really roll off the... That thing. Tell you what, why don't we just shorten that weird idea he had and call it an ear? Now that's good. Oh my god. What about this whole section of the body? What are we thinking there? I was thinking chest. The chest? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, like a treasure chest, because it contains all the treasure bits, you know, the juicy, ooey gooey inside bits. All right, this guy's definitely gonna eat someone's organs, I think, but I already wrote chest down, all right? So what about this? Foot. Okay, good. Foot. I like that. Now let's keep this going, because my uh, foots are getting tired. No, the plural would be feet, not foots. Oh. Okay, that's random. To make it more complicated for people learning the language for the first time. Oh, <laughs> this guy's a real prankster. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid foreigners won't know how to spell stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, it was just racism. All right. Oh my goodness. Let's move on. You know what? Foot and feet? That sounds like the perfect name for a unit of measurement as well. That's a good point. I'm going to pass that along to our names for units of measurements department. How many departments does this company have? Also, that is not a good name for a unit of measurement. Those things come in all kinds of different sizes. If you don't shut up right now I'm gonna punch you right in the this general area that we haven't gotten to yet. Okay, fine. Hey, any thoughts for this weird little skin right here? What about weenus? Weenus. Yeah, weenus. Yeah. Sounds a lot like that penis thing we named. No, it's not. It's a totally different word. All right. And hey, while we're talking about penis, do we got any other ideas for names for that? I'm not sure I love penis. Prick. Schlong. Johnson. Pecker. Okay. Fuck. Rod. Dong. Member. That should be enough. Dingaling. Disco stick. Willy. Woody. Baloney pony. Baloney pony. Unit. Pee pee. Shaft. 
trouser snake. Wang. Wiener. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good for penis. You guys really got carried away with penis there. We're done. Sorry. I have no idea what just happened there. We definitely lost control. What if you just made a bleep noise? That was insane. All right, now let's think of some alternate names for breasts. Boobies. Titties. Melons. Knockers. Hooters. Oh my god. All right, let's get back into naming these animals, fellas. We still have a lot left to go. Let's do it. Is this guy wearing a fake mustache? Now what about this big thing? This big old thing here? All right, bye, son. Sorry, what were we talking about? I'll tell you what we're gonna be talking about is you getting a raise, because that's fantastic. Oh, okay, great. Now what about this animal right here? This big old bastard. Um... You got anything, guy who just switched over here from the number naming department? I... Eleven. No, you guys already used that on a number. I heard about that. You can't just recycle ideas, fella. Eleven. Fan... T That's perfect. I love it. Awesome. What about this guy? This little orangey fella. Oh, I've got some of those living near my house. They keep taking dumps on my front lawn, those little f That works for me. What? All right, this little guy's up next. What are we thinking for this little guy? The greatest of all time. I'm gonna shorten that. Fine by me. What about this chubby water dude? What about him? He's all chubby in the water. An, uh, uh, an apotamus. I like it, but I think we could find a way to make that sound a little cooler. A, uh... Uh, a cool lipotamus. Okay, no, we'll circle back to that one. What about this guy right here, huh? I thought we already named that one. Isn't that, isn't that a cat? Well, this is like a big cat. Oh, I freaking hate big cats. That's kind of weird, but what are we thinking name-wise? Maybe something about it being untrustworthy and deceitful and dishonest. You think this cat's dishonest? He's lying about something. Look at him. I mean, I guess I could work with that. Now, what about this big old cat? Oh, this one's sketchy, too. What is with this guy? No animal should be that fast. Something sketchy's going on with this guy. This guy's got weirdly specific suspicions about large cats. Way, way, way too fast. I bet he's on performance-enhancing drugs, that freaking cheater. That works. What does? What about this big cat? It's a big cat. What do you think? Looks like a horrible mother. What? That cat doesn't look good at raising children at all. Let's call it a mom. Whoa, okay, let's take it down a notch, okay? Let's at least keep this PG. Okay, a poo ma. That's actually pretty good. Okay, switching gears now. What about this one? Oh, dear, I don't know. Writing it down. Oh. Now onto this one with the big paws and the face eating, the, the ones that eat your face. Oh. Oh, God, I didn't realize weird pervy guy would be in this meeting. Gentlemen, I think we can agree that one would look fantastic in the nude. Well, it's an animal. It's already naked. I'm talking completely naked, just fully bare. But, like, without its fur. This is what that looks like. That's horrifying. Smash. I'm just gonna write that bear thing you said. <laughs> that was a weird noise. All right, we got this one with the big ears and the haunting eyes that have seen a thousand deaths and also, like, brown hair. Hair! What? Yeah, no, actually, that's fine. Yes! What about this little guy that looks like he's got no worries for the rest of his days? Just for the record, I have no problem with this one. Why would you? Well, that's just a normal size cats. I don't like big cats. What? That's not a cat at all. It's a cat. It isn't. It's a completely other thing. That is a freaking cat, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. That is a mere cat. Love it. Oh, I'm accidentally pretty good at this. What about this freaking one? This ugly little dude. Oh, my, that is the most uninteresting animal I've ever seen. It is kind of a bore. It is now. Okay, next up we're gonna do, uh, actually no, we're gonna do that one later. Ah, uh, we're gonna do this one in a while. Oh, what about this one? Look at this fancy guy. Let's have some fun with that one, huh? It's a fancy one. I know what would be a fun name. Oh god, what is it? 